Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Ngozi Adeleye, founder of Crunch Econometrics, and I'm the facilitator, practical econometrics for researchers, beginners, and advanced level users called PEBA. In this video, I will show you how to engage moderation modeling using panel data. On the screen are the learning outcomes. We'll look at the study question and hypothesis, the scope of study, and the selected study variables. I will show you how to prepare your data set in panel data. We will go through model specification. Then we will proceed to estimating the models. In this video, I will not cover results interpretation. That will be done in part two. At the end of the video, you will see some selected references to guide you if you want to cite papers. As a reminder, this will be a detailed hands-on application using Stata and Evios. And if you are yet to enroll into PEBA, kindly do so with $200. It is a one-off fee so that you can take advantage and upgrade your analytical skills. I have highlighted on the screen the study question and hypothesis. This study attempts to analyze the effects of trade openness on economic growth. And similarly, ICT innovation and usage has shown to have some impacts on economic growth. Therefore, this study attempts to evaluate whether ICT moderates the impact of trade openness on economic growth. So this is a conditional research question. And from there, I'm able to generate a conditional hypothesis, as you can see right here. An increase in trade is associated with an increase in economic growth when condition ICT is accounted for. So I purposely crafted the hypothesis in a conditional form. You may decide not to do so, but make sure that when you are stating your research question, and research hypothesis, there must be close similarities. The scope of study is um, African countries. So I'm going to look at 53 African countries in a panel from 2005 to 2015. The dependent variable in this case is GDP. The independent variable is trade openness. And the moderating variable is um, an indicator of ICT, in this case, I'm using mobile phone subscription. I am controlling for labor force, and I'm also controlling for region and year dummies. So here I have the scope and study variables. So here we are in Stata. Like I said, I have 53 countries. This data set will be made available to all enrollees, so you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to provide the data set in Excel, so you'll be the one to import into Stata, okay? So you're going to get the Excel file. So these are the variables like I showed you. You can see GDP is here, trade openness is here, mobile phone, subscription, labor force. I included a uh, fixed telephone so that you can practice on your own after now, you can substitute fixed telephone into where you have mobile phone and just replicate everything that you are going to learn in this tutorial. And these are the log forms of the variables. I'm going to show you the do file where all these codes are there. You can just replicate. So I'm not going to repeat all this. So these are the log forms. And this is the interaction of trade, the log of trade and the log of mobile phones. I also have this code uh, in the do file. So here you can see the region dummies, Central Africa, East Africa, North Africa, South Africa, West Africa, because I included them in the models and these are the year dummies. So for the region dummies, I made West Africa the base region. So I have videos too on that. I have videos on um, subsample analysis, error components models in my YouTube channel. And I also have videos on dummy variables from this teachable platform. So whichever one you want to watch, please make sure you do so, so that you can improve your analytical skills. So this is the data set in Stata. 
So now we proceed to model specification. To address the study questions and hypothesis, equation one is as specified. So GDP is a function of trade, mobile phones, an interaction of trade and mobile phones, controlling for labor, you can see, controlling for region dummy variables, this is a region dummy, and these are time dummies and the error components, okay? So this is a panel data, and you can see the subscripts IT shows you this is a panel. And again, these are the variables as explained. GDP is the dependent variable. You can call it the outcome variable. Trade is the first explanatory variable. Mobile phones is the second explanatory variable. It is also the moderator. So make sure you separate um, the moderator from the main explanatory variable. At this point, you must know which variable is moderating which, okay? So trade times mob is the interaction. Labor is the control variable. Region dummies are here. Time dummies are here. And I put a note here. I said the variables are transformed to control for heteroscedasticity. You can see they're in log form. Log of GDP, log of trade, log of mobile phones, log of trade times log of mobile, and log of labor. But you may decide to engage the analysis using their raw forms. So if you use the raw form of the variables and you have a better result, why not? But I prefer to use the log form because of the ease of interpretation. Now let us move over to Stata to estimate the model. I've shown you the data. We have 53 countries from Algeria to Zimbabwe. So Zimbabwe is the 53rd country. And each country has 11 years observation from 2005 to 2015. This is the do file where I have written out the codes. As a Stata user, you cannot afford not to have a do file. So from the do file, all you need to do is just to run the codes. This code right here will produce region dummies. You can see generate region dummy variables. This code will give you the region dummies and you have them there. This code right here will give you year dummies or time dummies. How to generate logs in Stata, this is the code that you can run. You can see it here. So once you execute these codes, you are going to generate the log variants of the level variables. This is the correct way to generate interaction terms. This is a new variable we are generating, log of trade, log of mob. How do we get that? It's multiplying log of trade by log of mobile phones. You can see here I wrote, this is the wrong way to generate interaction terms. It will create multicollinearity problem if you do it this way. You can see the difference. So if you generate it like this, it's going to cause problem and Stata will drop one of the variables. So make sure you use this format to always generate your multiplicative interaction term. So now to estimate the model, we can use two approaches that Stata provides. You can either run it this way by including the multiplicative interaction here, or you can use Stata's factor notations. This is a factor notations for interaction. Both of them produces the same coefficients, but their standard errors are not the same. And they are, I think their intercepts to also differ, the constants, okay. But their results are very, very similar. And using factor notation will be very helpful when we want to generate marginal pl margin plots. So I'm leaving these two codes here in the do file so that you can try your hands on them. So now, let us estimate the model. Let us use the two codes and compare the results, which I know they are the same anyway. So here I execute the code, and these are the results. This is the result from using the multiplicative interaction, as you can see. I did not use a robust option. I did not control for heteroscedasticity. So this is just by way of um, tutorials. You can Control for rule. You can control for heteroscedasticity when you are practicing on your own. 
So you can see all the coefficients. I'm not interpreting at this point. That will be for next video because I need to provide detailed interpretation. So at a glance, you can see the interaction term here is negative. Okay. Let's take a look at the results using factor notations. You can see factor notations right here. And um, if you compare what you have, the results are exactly the same, though the standard errors differ. So thank you so much for staying with me. These are the references that you can explore. All the papers here has to do with moderation modeling. Very simple and interesting papers. So make sure you take a look at any of them, download one or two, go straight to uh, read chapter one, read chapter three and four, so that you can familiarize yourself with how to formulate the study questions and objectives, how to specify the model and also analyze the model. Thank you so much for watching. I have just concluded part one of moderation modeling using panel data. I love to hear from you. I am interested in your feedback. Please leave them in the comment section below and kindly refer your friends, colleagues, and institutions to enroll into the Crunch Econometrics paper series.